Linear functions can be represented in a lot of different ways. You can show a graph of a line that shows you a linear function. You can show a table of x and y values that shows a, a linear function. You can just write out the equation or you can just give the slope and a y-intercept and that is enough to know what the linear function is. So all four of these ways of representing a linear function really do contain the same information. So our job is to look at these and then try to answer these questions about them. The first question is, which function's graph is the steepest? And boy, looking at the function one, that looks like a good candidate. That's a pretty steep graph. But we can't really make a good judgment until we look at the slope of each of these. So when a function is written out in y equals mx plus b form, that is y is on one side of the equal sign and something is multiplied by the x on this side, that's the slope. So the slope here is 4. So I'm just going to say m equals 4. Now what's the slope on this one? Well, slope is the amount that the graph goes up or down over the amount that it goes over to the right. So this one goes down from this point to this point. It goes down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it goes over 1. So it's a negative 5 because it's down 5. So our slope is negative 5. So m equals negative 5. And that's actually steeper than this m equals 4 because the magnitude of the number is what matters. Absolute value of these, this is 5, this is 4. Let's look at these other two. How can we tell the slope from a table of values? Well, it's the amount it goes up or down over the amount it goes over. The amount it goes up or down would be the change in the y. From here, it goes from 3 down to 1. That's a change of negative 2. And it goes from negative 2 to negative 1. That's a change of positive 1. So the slope here is a negative 2. And then let's look at, look at this at, last one. This one just tells us the slope is 1. So the steepest graph is the one with the, the largest number part of the slope. The sign doesn't matter. And that's clearly going to be function 1. All right, we got that one. The next question says, which functions have graphs with slopes greater than negative 4? Now, greater, that's all of the, doesn't mean steeper. It's all of the values to the right of that on the number line. So uh, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. 0, and all the positive numbers. So the only one that's not greater than negative 4 is the first one. So that's going to be function 2, function 3, and function 4. And finally, we have which function has the graph with a y-intercept farthest from 0. So the y-intercept is where this graph crosses the y-axis. Um, this one's at 2, so the y-intercept is 2. How do we tell the y-intercept in these other ones? Well, the y-intercept is where x equals 0. So here, the y-intercept is negative 1. That's pretty close to 0. It's only 1 away. In this one, in the equation, you can tell the y-intercept because it's the number part um, that's added or subtracted. So our y-intercept here is a positive 5. That's pretty far away. And in function 4, they just tell us the y-intercept is negative 3. That's only three spaces away from 0. So function 3 has definitely got the y-intercept that's farthest away from 0. So that is how to look at the properties of linear functions when they're given to you in different forms.